And no matter where you like venture in the Philippines, Filipino women are some of the sexiest. And uh, after all, you're the, the catch of the day for these girls. Manella, on the other hand, is more in the like rat race pace of life. Fortunately, buying a Manila girl a drink also guarantees you a sleeping partner for the evening. You instantly become a prime target. There'll be good and bad pinay in every place you visit in the Philippines. Welcome to our YouTube channel. It's me, Roger, and welcome to Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's video is all about are Cebu girls different to Manila women? So before we start, thank you so much for your support and support on our channel. Thank you so much for the love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for new uploads or new videos. So, Happy New Year to each and everyone. Yeah, we're really thankful, guys, that you are here always to support us. So, thank you, thank you so much. This is our uh, last video for the year 2022. So, we're excited to welcome another year which is 2023 so sorry that um, Esme is not with me today because she's the one taking care of Haley. anyway guys um, for this uh, video a lot of our uh, subscribers ask if our Cebu girls different to uh, Manila women so I am here today to answer all of your questions. If you have like experience dating to a Filipina women that is coming from Cebu or Manila, you are most welcome to comment like what your experience is. Cebu and Manila are on every single man's itinerary when visiting the Philippines. These uh, capital cities offer great diversity to foreign men looking for a holiday or more permanent uh, residence in the Philippines. But should single foreign men choose between choosing a girlfriend in Manila as opposed to Cebu? That's the biggest question. And are there significant differences? Now, Cebu and Manila are popular destinations for foreigners. And both cities have like a nightlife suitable for a single man. Cebu rent prices are 30% lower than Manila. So in the city center, differing expenses and tourist attractions will like alter all the dating destinations you choose. Also note, Manila has a higher crime index of 64.68 to Cebu 51.17. And you should take note that Filipinas living anywhere in the Philippines display similar qualities when it comes to sexually and family values. So all loyalty to their boyfriend or husband, but where they differ as how their environment affects their lifestyle and outlook towards life. So some men prefer city living and urban lifestyle. And other guys prefer country life or the relaxation and beach uh, settings offers. And I also suggest you try out both as they'll be uh, significantly different from your home country and so will the girls. And furthermore, it will like depend on what your ultimate goals are and are you only visiting the Philippines for a short holiday or looking to move or retire here permanently? Now, your choice of destination also varies to the types of fun you're looking for. And to kick things off, now let me explain the major cities in both Manila and Cebu. 
Now, Manila City is well known as the most densely uh, populated globally. And if you prefer a more laid-back metropolis, Cebu City should be your choice. It is like still large enough with everything a single foreigner will desire. And dating differences, you firm up a general idea on a busy or a chill as a target destination. So what's next? And Manila City, if you're a single young uh, foreigner, for sure you'd prefer nightlife as your entertainment, fun, choice, priority. Now Manila City will be your first stop. If that's the case, Manila City does have some darker areas. So you must pay it safe until you like better understand your surroundings. Now, thankfully, Makati's location is popular with young guys and has a large uh, concentrations of attractive young Filipinas. And now the majority of Filipinas you'll meet in clubs and bars will be uh, expecting an exchange from you. And after all, you're expecting also sexual traits, which you must pay for in one form or another if your day game is up to like snuff. Mm, head over to the big malls for practice. And the variety of Filipino girls is diverse to like meet every uh, guy's flavor. And the more popular ones to look for are Mall of Asia, like in Pasay, is in Mega Mall, that's in Ortiga Center, Mandaluyong, and Ribbonsons, which is in Malate and is in City North Edsa, that's in Quezon City. And in Makati, you'll find is in Makati like Greenbelt, Glorieta, um, what else? Century City. And a plant are the better malls for hanging out with uh, Philippine uh, girls. Now, if you aren't in the top 5% of uh, game players, though your chances uh, like dwindle, especially if you're new to the Philippines, if you want to like maximize the volume of female company, join an online dating site and plan ahead of time. Now you can meet here in the Philippines if you want to. Every nightclub girl is on an online dating site. Plus, the majority of other single girls are as well. So it makes sense that Cebu City has uh, undergone a massive rethinking of uh, clubbing and bars over the past uh, several years. The once famous, which is the Mango Square Club District, is all but gone now. So there are a few, but very uh, minimal compared uh, before. And by far, malls and online dating are the popular choices that uh, single guys have in this big city. And with malls, you'll need to be a good at day game too. So the better malls to try your game will be undoubtedly be Ayala Center, SM Cebu City, uh, SM Seaside, and also don't forget Cebu ID Park. And the latter is popular with all the nearby office girls like call centers. And you can hunting ground and less frequented by uh, foreigners. Now the special uh, treat for you as a tourist is Cebu is close to beaches and islands. Ideal for relaxing, swimming, um, surfing, and snorkeling. It is common for Manila women to spend a long weekend in the Cebu area. I know that. And uh, you get the best both worlds with Cebu. And since I stayed in Cebu or around Cebu City, Several times in the past, I find the city itself less chaotic than Manila. So Cebu still has a healthy amount of nightlife areas, plus the bonus of its proximity to beaches and uh, tourist-centric activities. And in my experience, yeah, in Cebu, 
they love uh, to go to the beach and all about getting the, the girls and what about attitude and vibration. And no matter where you like venture in the Philippines, Filipino women are some of the sexiest and the feminine girls you'll find in all of Southeast Asia. Now, they aren't without their flaws, but what women aren't? At least Filipinas maintain high respect for foreign guys. And uh, after all, you're the, the catch of the day for these girls. Now, Manila girl's attitude, uh, it should be no surprise that Manila women are a little sharper than their laid-back Cebu sisters or girls. The big city lifestyle tends to like toughen up a girl's attitude. Filipinas are always in dangerous situations, especially uh, at night. Now, Filipino women need to be on their guard, especially when they're out like partying and uh, looking for a good guy like yourself. Now, Manila women live at a faster uh, pace. The city buzzes 24-7. Now foreign men are always looking to party no matter the time of the day. And you always find Filipina freelancers and party girls in Manila. Absolutely, you can find that. And Cebu girls' attitude also. As I uh, get older, my uh, preference leans towards a relaxed lifestyle and now I'm contented. Meeting girls in Cebu and surrounding areas is just as easy as it is in Manila. All you need or you still find bars and clubs in both places if that's your style. Now, Cebu does have more stuff to see if you're a tourist or merely wanting to go to different places outside a big city environment. And also Cebu girls are far more budget conscious too and their manila sisters or manila girls will pressure you for fine dining in manila's many high-end restaurants and not so in cebu now cebuana girls are well known to be hard working and loving women and are more loyal than their manila counterparts these uh, traits are uh, partly due to the Cebu people being more laid back and also respecting how life uh, ebbs and flows. Manila, on the other hand, is more in the like rat race pace of life. And these girls make, uh, let's say, exceptional tour guides too. They love exploring Cebu's waterfalls, uh, mountain trails, and most love the chance to do like their like bikini and soak up the sun. If you're like the type of guy who is more into like adventure and outdoors, consider Cebuana girls for companionship first. What about getting laid back? Now let's start with a few words of wisdom. All capital cities in every country will be more expensive than the country regions and uh, provinces. Now you must uh, first define what your budget is going to be. Yeah, that's very important. And include the following basics like accommodation, travel such as taxis, jeepneys, buses, and maybe air flights. Next, meals and drinks, entertainment, whenever or whether it's going to be like beach centric or nightlife centric. Since Filipinas like earn so little, you'll be footing the bill for her expenses as, as well. Don't ever think she's going to be like paying her way to be with you. Now, Manila women will be um, invariably charge you more for her time if you're in the Philippines for a short time holiday and she's under no illusion and she's like commodity for porches or rental 
And if you're staying in uh, the recommended Makati area, an apartment will cost you around $600 per month. And please don't like rent a dump. You'll be bringing women home. Do some research online for available like rentals that you can book in advance. Yes, you can do that. That's the brilliant idea. And the same higher price applies to drinks, mainly clubs and bars. Fortunately, buying a Manila girl a drink also guarantees you a sleeping partner for the evening. <laughs> and now, Cebu layovers, don't get me wrong, but all Filipino girls love sex. And these girls love having it almost any way you want it. But country girls in the Philippines seem to have a higher appetite for the scenes of the flesh. Remember that. I've always found Cebu girls can't get enough. Now, women in Cebu see uh, fewer numbers of foreigners since Manila has always remained the first choice for tourists. With that in mind, you instantly become a prime target in an excellent way. So you're on an interesting point for these Cebu girls. And the same rule applies here. Buy them a drink and they're yours for the night or more. So you need to remember this. Every single guy will have a fantastic time in either Manila or Cebu. Now, there's no reason not to try both. But if you're more of city or clubbing type of guy, then try Manila. On the other end of the spectrum, if you're more into like adventure, mountains, or beach life, test out Cebu first. In either city, you'll still need to be on guard for gold diggers. So you have to remember that. There'll be good and bad pinay in every place you visit in the Philippines. It's a smarter practice to verify Filipino girls using an online dating website before you meet up. So meet them online, decide whether they are worth your time, they're not gold diggers, and re rinse and repeat. Create a pipeline of girls dotted throughout your various destinations. So stick to this tried and proven practice. I guess that's all for uh, today's video. And uh, I hope uh, I answer all of your questions, your messages about uh, Filipina in Cebu and Manila. So you can definitely experience when you uh, visit here in the Philippines, either Manila or Cebu. So thank you so much for watching till the end. And I hope to see you in our uh, next vlog. No hate. Just love. Bye.